My older brother is a pretty straight edge guy. As far as I know, he never really dabbled into drugs or hard alcohol before. So on vacation, he and a couple of friends, they go up to Big Bear in a cabin and they consumed edibles for the first time, pot brownies. But the thing is, everyone else there was straight edge too. So they didn't really know the correct dosage to get high too. So you should be listening to my speech because you should understand, and I know it will, you should understand how the legalization process of recreational marijuana will work because you could safely consume without breaking the law if you do. And I know it can because as college students we may have already in high school or we will run into a marijuana in the future and you should be in the know when that happens. So there are three important concepts to talk about in regards to Proposition 64, the legalization of recreational marijuana, also known as the Adult Use of Marijuana Act. And those three include, first, the production and advertisement to the general public. Second, that includes the distribution and consumption of recreational marijuana. And third, includes the taxing and where the sources of revenue will be spent towards. So first things first, production is going to be strict with advertisement going to be even stricter. Okay, packaging is going to be resealable and childproof. Labeling is going to include safe portion sizes and warnings of allergens. Testing will be up to a state standard. And according to Jill Haverlin of the staff attorney at the Drug Control Alliance, for the Huffington Post, marijuana advertising and marketing towards children will be banned completely. Infractions for minors, which is under the age of 18, will include free drug counseling, education, and or community service, and community service, and you cannot possess up to 28.5 grams, that is the maximum amount for carrying recreational marijuana on your person. And according to James Mosher of the Drug Alliance Policy Action Board, you cannot consume up to, there's, you cannot consume in a public environment, it has to be in a private home. You cannot consume where tobacco is prohibited. And yes, and second point I'm going to make is the distribution and consumption of recreational marijuana. Adults over the age of 21 are the only ones allowed to possess recreational marijuana. They're the only ones allowed to smoke recreational marijuana. And purchases will be made at highly regulated and licensed businesses. Those businesses cannot be located within 200 feet of a school, and you're not going to be finding liquor stores or grocery stores selling recreational marijuana. And you can only possess up to 28.5 grams. I went over that. And consumption. Yes, and to move on to my third point, um, taxation and revenue, where the, where the revenue will be spent towards the state programs. According to Stanton Glantz, a professor of medicine for the Center of Control Tobacco Research and Education Board, for the, yes, Stanton Glantz, there will be a state excise tax on recreational marijuana on sales and there will be a state cultivation tax on individual flowers and leaves. And medical marijuana, though, is going to be exempt from these taxes. From these taxes. And local governments can impose further taxes on these, along with state and federal government. And about 60% of revenue will be spent towards youth programs, youth programs including education, and prevention, and 20% will go towards environmental regulations, environmental programs, and restoration of damage caused by illegal farms in the past. And 20% will go towards California Highway Patrol in making more DUI driving under the influence protocols. So in this speech, I have discussed the production and advertisement of recreational marijuana, the distribution and consumption, and the taxation where the revenue will be spent towards. And to finish off the story with my brother in the beginning, two of his friends took a hazardous amount of recreational marijuana. They thought their tolerance was high, 
So they consumed way more and a lot more pot brownies. And one of them slept that night cackling like a hyena throughout the whole night. And the other, she could only look into the ceiling with bloodshot, wide open eyes. It was really disturbing for my brother. And with the passing of Proposition 64, with the safety labeling on the sales, this problem will be avoided since safety portions will be on the labels. Thank you.